It is Elena, and until 10 minutes ago, she had no clue about what was about to happen to her. If you want to understand how she ended up here in freezing cold water, do like Elena and watch this video. We are in the northeast of Italy, not far from Austria, in the eastern Dolomites. The town is called Cloud, a pure mountain town off the beaten path. We are going in one of its canyons, called the Ciafurle, to do, well actually, some canyoning. Which means travel along a canyon using a variety of techniques, such as walking, scrambling, climbing, jumping and swimming. The river has cut into the limestone and creating amazing shapes and natural swimming ponds. The obstacles are waterfalls, rocks and jumps. We are under the expert lead of Susie, Giacomo and Giuseppe. They are locals, know the terrain and they are skilled alpinists. E cos'è il canyoning? È il discendere dei, dei, dei torrenti molto, molto infossati, molto stretti, dove le acque hanno scavato delle forre, o chiamate anche canyon, e lungo i quali appunto si scende con diverse tecniche. Dove, dove si può si nuota e ci si tuffa, altrimenti si utilizzano corde per, per calarsi. activity that connects with the mountain and allows to see angles that would not be able to be seen otherwise. It's the point of view of the river. If done safely, it combines a good dose of adrenaline with pure fun, like jumping and splashing in the water. Really something amazing. I would never ever ever have expected something like that. It was really good fun. But well, let's go back to Alana. She was brought here by her friend because today is her hen party. And we thought that jumping in cold water was a good training for our upcoming married life. We are done with the canyoning and uh, obviously we are in the beauty, beautiful mountain and now we will go to Amalga uh, eating some amazing food uh, in these beautiful valleys. So bear with us because it's not over. We reward our effort on the canyoning with a succulent lunch. We are in the mountain hut of Chazavent, an idyllic place where we came since we were kids. Today, every summer, it's possible to get proper local genuine food. A great place to dine with good friends. And out from there, you can also see a footprint of a dinosaur. 
it was probably left over the sand during the Triassic time and then solidified into this rock. We came here to have lunch after the canyoning this morning and actually this is like a bucolic paradise on earth. It's at the end of a valley and it's really an idyllic place where to like chill down and have a good meal. And with this one, that's it for us. See you the next time.